Sometimes I wake up and I just have no idea what I'm doing or where I'm going or if I should shower today. Good morning. This is the last, <clears throat> I always wake up so congested. And you might think it's because I sleep in a van, but whether I sleep in a van or not, I always wake up stuffy. I don't know what that's about. Anyway, this is my last night sleeping at a Cracker Barrel. Mark my words. braving the retail shopping center because I need to put lights up in my van. It's kind of dark in there right now. So we're going to a craft store. Okay, I've got I've got command hooks. I've got thumbtacks because I'm finally going to put up lights in my van. I got these from Timu, who is today's sponsor. So one set is USB powered because in my old van, I just found USB powered lights to be more convenient for me. The other set is this cute little garland battery operated set, which I will just use more sparingly because it's kind of annoying to constantly put batteries in lights if that's your only light source. So I didn't do that this time, but they're really cute. I actually put some here to test it out and they work really well. I like to do things on a budget and I know my van looks pretty good. It actually came out leaps and bounds better than I expected, but believe it or not, this van still cost me about the same as my Stevie build, which was around $200. I know, I will definitely do a full price breakdown in a future video, but for now, I kept costs low by buying things cheap from Timu. Now, don't let the prices fool you. I'm actually really impressed by the quality of everything that I got. I not only ordered lights, but I also got my precious little lamp. It's touch operated, isn't this cool? And you guys, this is a mushroom. No more speculation. It's a rechargeable mushroom lamp. That's it. I also got this cute little trash bag that attaches to my front seat. Very convenient. And after the way Stevie went out, van safety is now something that is really important to me. So I also ordered things like a portable battery jumper, which would have saved me so many AAA toes and also a cordless portable tire inflator 
packaging, which is something I desperately also could have previously used. I was able to get all of this at a great price from Timu. They offer free shipping and free returns for 90 days, plus a $5 delivery credit for late delivery, which I think is pretty nifty. You can download the Timu app and get a $100 coupon bundle. Just search my code in the app to claim. Thank you, Timu. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that's stressful. Oh my gosh. Oh my. This isn't even the right one. What does this go to? What is this? Oh. 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 oh no, they all work with each other. Okay, well, can we just, can we chill? Okay, um. Does this not have a normal? <laughs> Freaking final. Oh! I've decided I'm gonna make some hot chocolate because it's cold. It's a perfect time. I haven't really been cooking in this fan because it's difficult for me to crack the windows. It's not difficult, but I have to get all the way in my front seat, turn on the car and roll down the windows and then get back in the front seat and roll the windows up when I'm done. And Stevie, I just popped them open. Ow. Stevie, I also had carpet and it didn't hurt my ankles to sit on the floor. I'm not complaining. I'm just adjusting. Anyway, yeah. Perfect day, perfect winter day to make some hot chocolate. Safety first, kiddos. hot so it's gonna cook for a little while I don't need boiling water for hot chocolate and this door's cracked This is the coziest little corner of my house. It's so snuggly. So I saw another quote recently. It's by Charles Bukowski. And it read, okay, I'm paraphrasing because I don't remember exactly. Something along the lines of, when you have no one to wake you up, tell you when to go to bed, tell you when to shower, whatever. Is that freedom or loneliness? Obviously, van life comes with a lot of freedom. It comes with an immense amount of freedom. And it's awesome being able to just get up and go wherever I want, whenever I want. But I think any nomad or van lifer will tell you that there comes a point when you start, I don't know, questioning your purpose. Like, why am I doing this? Did I really just drive over a thousand miles to go to the beach? When I was already at the freaking beach, I've been doing this for so long now that I know that this is like an annual thing. It's a phase. It just comes and goes. It happens to, I'm pretty sure, everyone. Everyone starts questioning why they're doing what they're doing. 
my wallpaper is on peeling from this side and I don't know why so I don't give it that much weight I'm not having an existential crisis or anything I just I want to make sure to remember especially in the new year that I don't have to hold on to my old goals or beliefs because when I first started doing this when I was in my car I had a very specific goal in mind I definitely wanted adventure I wanted to see as many national parks as I could. I wanted to hang out with climbers and camp four in Yosemite. And I pretty much did all that. I actually did all of that stuff before YouTube. I converted my car. I went to the Redwoods for the first time. I went to Yosemite for the first time. And I think now as a seasoned nomad, as a veteran, I've already done the stuff that I wanted to do at first. I've seen very beautiful places. I've gone to many national parks. I renew my park pass every single year. And I'm seeing less and less of them because I already saw all the ones that I wanted to see. At this point in my van life career, I think I'm honestly living in a van because I just really love to do it. It takes a special kind of person to live in a vehicle. It's not for everyone. And the cost of living is sky high lately, everywhere. And it's really hard for me to imagine going and renting somewhere for a year and then at the end of a year-long lease having nothing to show for it like not having invested in any property or anything that money is just poof, gone into thin air so since i love living in a vehicle and it's also really nice financially to not have to pay rent yeah i think it's a smart decision to keep doing this but now i have to find other ways to fill my day and feel fulfilled because living like this is easy but I don't think you will find purpose in just living an easy breezy life at least not not right now not at this age maybe later I'm probably just rambling but it's just something I've been thinking about lately aside from YouTube aside from everyone else I just want to make sure that I am living in a van because I truly want to. Not because it makes good content, not because three years ago I wanted to climb Half Dome really bad, you know? I couldn't imagine living any other way. So back to the quote while I clean this up. And when nobody wakes you up in the morning, and when nobody waits for you at night, and when you can do whatever you want, what do you call it? Freedom or loneliness? ¿Por qué no las dos? Mm -hmm.